How's it going guys? Cheese here at Cheese on Everything. Welcome to the new Gear Vault. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you know that we do a lot of outdoor activities. And with all those activities come a lot of different gear. So in order to keep everything organized, I've built this wall out of pegboard and some one by twos from Home Depot. And this is what keeps all my outdoor gear in check. The wall does look a little bit overwhelming and kind of messy at first, but everything is strategically placed. I'm a very visual oriented person and also very forgetful. So a wall like this actually really helps with not forgetting anything important before a camping trip. So let's go in detail of why I place things where they are. And I'll also show you what you can't see on the camera right now. So over here we have our tools that include shovels, saws, axes, and knives. These are basically your essentials for any kind of camping trip. And down here we have all our water filtration systems, anything from the grill to the MSR, uh, to the bee freeze, uh, life straws, and the soil squeeze, all the popular branded water filters you see on the market. And naturally underneath the water filtration, we have our coffee makers. And over here in the corner, we have our first aid. Moving on up, we have our tent stakes and the poop shovel. And next to that, we have our electronics section. And the reason why all electronics are in one place is because I've wired these USB cables behind the pegboard. And this runs straight down towards the outlet. So I can just pull these cords out to charge whatever I need. And moving on down, we got our cook systems. This is all the canister stoves, wood stoves, alcohol stoves, and a couple of grills for a wood burning fire. Over here, we got our pots and pans that go with the cook system. Uh, I got a couple of titanium setups here or aluminum. This is where the jet bowl goes. I already packed that away for our next camping trip. So subscribe if you want to see that. And then down here we have the big dual burner stove from Martin. I use this for car camping. So past this I have the Night Eyes uh, gear tie which kind of separates this wall from all the essentials to more of the seasonal stuff. Here we got a shovel, some snowshoes, trekking poles, fishing rods. All the gear in this corner is stuff that I don't always use. And then over here we have our down jackets and sleeping bags. If you have any kind of downfilled gear, you should always keep them outside of the stuff sack. Once you compress them for a long time, they don't loft back up to give you that warmth. And underneath the gear wall that you couldn't see on camera earlier is the Calax shelving system. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I love the Calax. And these shelves are great because they separate everything into sections. And for some reason, everything just fits into these cubby holes. I bought a bunch of inserts for this Calax, and this is the 3x3. So if you've bought any camping gear in the past, you know that most of it comes in a stuff sack. And because all this gear is out in the open now, I have to keep all the stuff sacks in this cubby hole. And to keep it all organized, the stuff sacks for each of these items are in this respectable quadrants. Like the Gone Boy here in the top right corner, the sheet for it is in this top right cubby. So moving on to the next cubby, we got all our tarps and hammocks down here. And then next to that, we have all our camp pillows. I have a bad back and neck, and so I've tested a lot of uh, sleeping pillows. I'll do a video on that later on. And then under here, we have all our sleeping pads. We got the very popular Nemo Tensor Alpine, uh, an older Nemo Cosmo, the really old Thermarest and a couple of Amazon pads here. Moving on to the next section, we have uh, some little trinkets for the kitchen. Uh, I have the GSI Bugaboo Camper up here usually. And then here is a few more kitchen utensils. Next there we have a bait box for fishing. Uh, and then under here we got the buddy heater and some fuel. Next to that, we got all our camp chairs. And then on this section, because the tent bags are slightly bigger, I purposely didn't put in the wooden section. I have a couple of tents in here and also a folding table. That is basically the gear wall. And next to that, we have the bag wall. Over here, I've put these big heavy duty hangers and I've hung all the bags that I got. These include camping bags like the Ether 70. This is my heavyweight. Uh, the Osprey Exos 48, the 4.40, uh, some snowboarding bags, there's a Union Expedition pack, and also some fishing bags. And I have a couple of Peak Design bags I've left some space for. So if you've seen my uh, bedroom video, all this gear used to be under my mom bed from Ikea. But because everything was in a stuff sack, I kind of had to dig through and open each bag to see what everything was. This system is a lot more organized and I can kind of see 
everything at once. So I hope you guys like this gear room tour and it gives you some inspiration to organize your gear. I know a lot of comments in Dan Becker's videos asking how does he keep his gear organized. This is a great way to keep everything nice and tidy. Hope you guys like this video and if you did hit the like button and subscribe for an upcoming trip and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.